back to Cape Chronicle and welcome our guest, Nathan Gottier. Nathan is the development officer at St. Francis, but also the founder, president, and executive director of the Wax Foundation. Nathan, welcome. Hey, Alex, thanks for having me. Good to yeah. be here. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your foundation, a little bit about yourself. Sure. So uh, Wax Foundation actually started as like a walk and talk video series. It was called Wax with Nate and I would meet up with business community leaders or people that we just found that were really interesting. We'd walk around Cape Girardeau and Jackson and just kind of have a walk and talk, kind of like you and I are uh, right now, not looking at the camera, but just learning people's stories. And we always took uh, a percentage of the proceeds of those videos and we donate them to some charitable uh, thing that we thought was important. So I'm a testicular cancer survivor. Um, I was diagnosed in late 2018, spent the vast majority of 2019 going through chemotherapy and losing my hair and my ego and just going through all this stuff. And, you know, thankfully, uh, thanks to God and my family, pulled out of it and have been telling my story and, and creating uh, just experiences to spread some advocacy because that's what a lot of the Walks Foundation does. It's a TC-centric foundation where we want to uh, make people aware of testicular cancer for one, um, make them aware of the importance of self uh, monthly examinations, and also give back to cancer patients. And that's not just testicular cancer patients, but cancer patients at large. We felt um, that there was a need for getting people aware that, that TC was a thing because it's actually the, um, it's the number one cancer for men ages uh, 15 to 45. The, oh, wow. It's the number one cancer that they're diagnosed with. And so self-exams are really important. You know, I, uh, our time is limited, but I found a small nodule on one of my testicles. It really bothered me. And so if you find it earlier, there's a really good success rate with treatment. Um, but not a lot of guys are grown up and taught to check themselves after a shower. And so that's what we really focus on is making people aware of TC and then trying to help them. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So um, what kind of like, I know you do some events and things yeah, too, yeah. so you have a big event that happens. Yeah, and so in April, it'll be April 6th this year. It's always the first weekend of April. Okay. And April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. And so we created an event in 2021 that was called the Lemon Drop Long Drive. We go to Tea House Complex. Um, Brian and Tyra Johnson have been tremendous partners and supporters of letting us hold that event there. It is a fundraising event, and so, uh, you know, we're hitting the golf ball really far, and, <laughs> and we're trying to. I, I'm not one of the ones that can hit it very far, but it, uh, it's been tremendous, and the community um, has just been so supportive and opened up their arms to be a part of this event. Last year, we had 36 sponsors. Oh, and, wow. Yeah, I mean, just amazing, and, and it's really grown nationally, too, so we We've uh, partnered with Top Golf and Top Tracer and Callaway. And That's so awesome. some of the bigger names in golf have been like, hey, what you're doing is important. I love that you've created it. And so um, if I kid, I'll tell you why we call it Lemon Drop. Yeah, please. Okay? Yes. Okay. So um, as a cancer patient, it's all kind of full circle. But as a cancer patient, you're probably pretty nauseous if you're going through chemotherapy. So one of the saving graces, especially even on a personal level, was a lemon drop. So the acidity of the lemon actually soothes your stomach. And so when you're nauseous going through treatment, you pop a lemon drop and you feel a little better temporarily while that, while that lemon drop's working for you. And so the circu circular lemon drop and the golf ball and the synergy of the type of cancer were like, let's call it lemon drop. And um, when a big brand like Topgolf says, hey, that's really cool, you're like, oh really? Because I thought I was just creating something in my community. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, and so, you know, it, it, divine intervention has been a part of it, too. We're just really grateful for the community and, and the people that have supported it. And golf obviously took off during COVID. And so now yep. everybody loves to go and, and hit the ball. And so it's been a fun ride. And, and I can't believe we're headed into our fourth year. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Four years. I, yeah. I, for me, that's even hard to like yeah. <laughs> comprehend because yeah. I know I remember seeing it and it feels like it was just last year in, in my brain. It so. does. Yeah. And it, and it takes a team. You know, the Walks Foundation has a board and they have dedicated volunteers and individuals that make it work. I could not do it on my own. And, and I'm very thankful that I've got people that believe in what we're doing and 
the root of it is for cancer patients. We're doing all of this work that we don't have to do outside of our nine to five jobs. You know, I'm a development officer for St. Francis, but from, you know, 5 p.m. to midnight, and I have two small boys. I'm on my computer like a nerd trying to get all these things coordinated to bring people together. And so giving back to cancer patients and their families, my wife and I experienced a tremendous amount of financial hardship during that time. We know that it's not easy when you're going through cancer, so we do donate um, a good healthy portion of the proceeds from that event, both to um, the hospitals here in town for their foundations to give back to their cancer care funds. So it's a, it's a really good thing, and I, I feel very humbled to be able to be here and share it because I think, um, you know, when it's bigger than you, it's easy to be a part of. So how would someone want to get involved? I mean, I'm sure because it's growing and, yeah. and I, I, I mean, I think everyone's unfortunately been affected by someone right. with cancer. Right. So it's near yeah. and dear to a lot of people. So how do they get involved? Yeah, I mean, you can go to walksfoundation.org, send us a message there, go to our Facebook. It's, it's Walks with Nate on Facebook. And really just let us know. There's so many people that are impacted by cancer, as you mentioned, that you would never know. And it's spouses and it's cousins and it's wives. And so um, I, I would say send us a message. You can be at the event. Uh, you can help us fundraise. We're doing a chemo pack campaign and chemo pack is one of our um, kind of our uh, subsidiary brands where we put little care packages together that have got lemon drops in it and a cooling towel and a journal and maybe, you know, word search, but it, it's things that are going to be there for the patient during their darkest times on that infusion floor getting their treatment. And so we're going to be packing uh, about 100 chemo packs to give to the patients here in the community. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do to be a part of it. And awesome. it, as long as uh, you let us know, we, we'd open you with open hands. So how does someone register for the actual event? Is, oh, I'm yeah. sure that's different sure. too, because yeah. I'm, I'm sure people want to I'm not a golfer. I'm not an athletic person. So that would not, I would be on the volunteer side. I would not yeah. be on the event side. Yeah. So, um, so the way that we, the event works is that we pick usually about eight to 10 community leaders and they do a lot of fundraising and advocacy for us. And then after they do their swinging, um, all the community can come in and compete. We have open division for women, for men, for, for kiddos. And so really that's from our website. You'll go to the website and you can sign up. I think it's about a $25 donation usually, um, and that gets your registration, and then you can show up and do the lemon drop long drive. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Is there anything else that you wanna share with the community? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little crass, but I think it's appropriate, and it, it would be <laughs> check your balls. You know, whether you're a mom or a dad, everybody has a cousin, everybody has a nephew, a brother. Um, tell them after a shower that self, uh, self monthly exams and early detection is key so please uh please take care of yourself go to get your annual physical all right well yeah. perfect thank you so much i really appreciate you thank being you, on Alex. today and and sharing just your experience and and what you're doing for cancer patients in southeast missouri because that that just means a lot it's i appreciate been it been a pleasure thank you yeah thank you